Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an Oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Come on. Oh. Oh. That's it, you're in for it. Oh, come on. Winner and the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. 
He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Oh, hi! Good, this Ah, but you fairness in your eyes. What'll it be? Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent.
some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are not. Old villagers pitching. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? To help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. At home we will go. Name's Geralt. Patty Gruber. I'm a bookie. I trust you're here to fight. What can you tell me about these fights? Bouts are held in Novigrad, the Skelliger Isles, and in Velen. Each region has its champion, but to face the said champion, you must first defeat three other contenders in that region. Defeat the champions of Velen, Skellige, and Novigrad, and you will win the prestigious title of Champion of Champions. I'm ready. Hear that? A fight at last! Our champion, Archibald O'Neill, to face Geralt! Fight! Gentlemen, we have a new champion, the man who dethroned Archibald O'Neill. Bravo to Geralt, a beautiful bout. Want to be crowned the best in Novigrad. Who do I got to fight? Well, if you yearn to fight some more, you must certainly face the captain of the guard. How is the business?
I need a rhyme. Can you help? Winds howling. So, how do you go with this thing? I was fucking a bit up my own business when suddenly puppy pops a little bit. I'm Geralt of Rivia. It matters not what you're called, it matters not where you're from. What matters is if you're prepared to fight Captain Mortimer. Who organizes these fights? Tournaments like this have been held in Skellige, Velen, and Novigrad for ages. Each region has its own champion. Novigrad's is the tailor. Defeat Mortimer, and you'll gain the right to challenge him. I'm ready. Let's do this. Fight! Rivia dethrones Captain Mortimer! Behold your prize, champion! You have earned the honor to challenge Novigrad's champion, Durden the Tailor. You will find him in far corners and fight there as well after sundown. Like necrophages, economic, vile in appearance and reeking of dead men's bile. It's rotting flesh they truly True crave. Kids, we're all one or the other as a service economic. to mankind. Come back, you stinking scadges! All we wanted was... Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth! in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Fucking come on! Now! Not good. 
good. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he can explain what the hell's going on. I just fell returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone. The tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat boat. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh, <laughs> dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. 
Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that dumb fool name. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. It's the loot he got from the elves of Dolblathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, oh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach, and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had them wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling them Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She didn't kind of half of it. Called him her stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. 
and she pulled a bit in the reins out of her cupboard. Oh, <laughs> poor bastard fled out the window. Miss Bueller. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess so flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her to hear. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? See, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, you know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Hmm. Nose is too small. What happened, kid? They... they... <laughs> Great git! Grab him! What's it me? Stop walking into his soul!
Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. See, you kept the rose of remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly, though... More as a warning. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the first soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan Dwan Ar Ice. No, Carl, no! I, I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the last. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him, just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well. Except maybe. Coral's not here. In that case, come to me, succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad. Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt. And Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. 
I have no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since we were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. 